I thought as the internet would go on, the beauty of Instagram, the beauty of YouTube is authenticity and realness. And all of this happening is more frauds, more lies, and more smoke and mirrors. I'm not one to start drama. I'm not one to talk mess. I'm not one to lead the negativity. But to me, it's actually pointing out wrongdoings rather than, I'm not trying to gossip. For the lack of integrity in the fitness industry has kind of been known, but from the biggest in the game, you know, the Liver Kings, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the hypocrisy of trying to be this good guy, potentially running for president, kissing babies, shaking hands, hardest worker in the room, trying to make as much money as you can based off of lies is literally, to me, as slimy as you get. I understand that steroids are a touchy topic for a lot of people. I understand that they're illegal, that they're still very taboo in our age and our day. And even someone, I've never done them, but I've been around them for a very long time. I, I, don't, I don't know all about them. And look, I'm not perfect. I've never claimed to be perfect. All I've claimed to do is be me to lead with my heart, to lead with my morals, to only provide content, information, and make money based on things that I truly think are good. You know, whether it be my, my training programs, my, my gym, uh, my apparel, I try to make it the best it is and only sell it as it is. I don't sell it to be something it is not. And I don't sell me to be something I am not. Um, and to me, that is obviously the definition of integrity. I'm not gonna sell you guys a beat up Honda, no offense to my Honda fans, and tell you it's a Ferrari, right? So what, what message are we trying to send? And what message is it to our culture when the people that have the biggest following, influence, most views, most talked about, are arguably the biggest snake oil salesmen in the game. What does that say about us? What does it say about them? I mean, the steroid thing's easy, you know? You can say simple things. You cannot answer the question. You cannot bring up the topic. You can simply say it's a part of the game. You can say, I compete here. This is untested. Um, it doesn't have to be as complicated when you just come out and, and flat out lie is when I have an issue. And that goes for any topic. That goes for selling supplements and the type of supplements you sell. Um, the point is that there's a lot of young people and not young people, I ain't that young, and we're all highly fragile creatures. You know, you want to act all tough and all that. We all got emotions and we all have self-esteem and we're all impacted by what we see and hear on the internet. So now you get a 300 pound, 5% body fat video game character. Tell me you never use steroids. Man, I'm on TikTok. I just do a joke. It doesn't affect me as bad as it affects many people, and that's my issue, right? We got young people. We have people struggling with their journeys in the fitness game. So we have some people that are, aren't as educated in the fitness nutrition game that are trying to learn, and they're trying to aspire to be healthy, to look better, to feel better. And that's where all these issues become more serious to me. I can joke about it all the time. Again, like I did on TikTok. People tell me the Dwayne The Rock Johnson is has legendary work ethic. What the hell does legendary work ethic even mean? And how can you tell me you know he has that? Because he goes on Instagram once a week and tells you he works hard. Now all of a sudden he's got legendary work ethic. And that's not to negate or take away from anything the guy's accomplished. He's obviously has worked hard and been set into these opportunities. Had a little bit of luck and climbed his way to the top of the Hollywood or wherever the hell he is. Other people said I'm jealous. Bro, I can go find and get steroids. You don't think I can go and find and take steroids? It ain't that hard. There's no jealousy there. These are decisions I've made and they're things that I've lived with based on my morals. Is it always easy? Nah, if I'm more jacked, if I'm strong, if I'm shredded and shirtless all the time, 
my fitness content will do better. But that's not who I am, so that's not what I'm gonna do. I just think that people get so lost in this internet stuff, and trust me, my whole life's on the internet, I get it. But you get so lost in this internet shit that because The Rock told you he works hard and hashtags hardest worker in the room, that now his work ethic's legendary? What does that mean? And why are we bowing down to these guys acting like they're gods? They're humans. And in my opinion, they're humans that lack integrity with their internet content. I can't speak on them day to day. I can't speak on them personally. I've never met these folks. But when I hear clips, see clips, or see posts from Liver King, The Rock Johnson, when they're blatantly lying to then turn around and monetize a product to sell to the masses, that's literally the definition of slimy and lack of integrity to me. Now, I'm gonna let that negativity float. That's all I got. Sometimes I gotta get it off my chest. It frustrates the living hell out of me when there's so many great content creators, so many great businessmen that often lead with their hearts and aren't as successful, and that's frustrating. Um, sure, me, but also tons of my friends, you know? It sucks that these lies and this drama and the gossip and the clickbait, that is what allows you to succeed in this era of content, in this era of business, in this era of society and culture. Um, you know, they say you vote with your dollars. They say, you know, support your friends. And I truly believe in those things. And I'm gonna try to continue to lead with my best foot, with my integrity, with my own moral code. And again, I can't judge another, another man, another woman's moral code, right? We all gotta build our own code of ethics. Um, but those are some things that I, I can't, I can't get away from. I, I open any app and I scroll around and it's just bullshit in my face. So I'm gonna go back to my little home of lifting weights and designing clothes, trying to help you all on your fitness journey, trying to design clothes that fix issues that I personally have with style and functional gym gear. Um, and I'll be in my corner when you all need me, man. We over me. Be a part of something bigger than yourself, man. Solid Mike, I'm out.